In this video, we want to find the Taylor series of f of x equals ln of x centered at x equals 3. In order to find the Taylor series, we have to fi first find the derivatives. So the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. The derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. And the derivative of negative 1 over x squared is 2 over x cubed. So we're going to use that in here for this uh, equation of the Taylor series. So first we start with f of 3, which that's just ln of 3. f prime of x was 1 over x, so we replace that with 1 over 3. f double prime of 3 was negative 1 over x squared. And when we plug in 3 there, you get negative 1 over 9. And the third derivative, that was uh, 2 over x cubed. When we placed x equals 3, we got 2 over 27. So those will be the coefficients along with the denominator is basically 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial. The numerator is x minus 3 raised to the nth power. And this ln of 3 does not belong with the rest. So obviously ln of 3 is not in the same form. So what we're going to do is put that to the side and then find a formula for the rest of the series. So one thing to note here is this alternating signs. So every other uh, term is going to be negative outside of the ln of 3. So we need to have a negative 1 raised to an exponent to make sure it's positive for the first term, negative for the second, positive for the third, etc. The other thing to notice is that the exponents and the denominator are increasing. So first it's 3, 3 squared, 3 cubed. And the other thing is when you simplify the numerator of the fraction with the denominator here, this becomes, so this, initially this was 1, right? So 1 over 1 is 1. Then 1 over 2, that's 2. 2 over 3 factorial, 3 factorial 6, 2 over 6 becomes 3 in the denominator. So basically we're increasing this number by 1 every time. So for that, we're going to have an n to represent that. We have 3 raised to the nth power, because the exponent of 3 is increasing every time. We have a negative 1 raised to the n plus first power for the alternating sign. And then we have x minus 3 raised to the nth power. And because this was when n equals 0, we have ln of 3 here, and then we start at n equals 1 for our series. And so this is going to be our Taylor series, centered at x equals 3.